Automatic Bar Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson number nine, tooling. As a good operator of the New Britain Automatic Bar Machine, you must be able to recognize properly sharpened drills and tools. You must be able to remove and replace tooling. You must also be able to identify, to discover the causes for, and to correct problems related to the most common chatter problems. This television training tape will give you the information you will need to perform these tasks. The cutoff blade is in the last or sixth position and is what cuts off the finished part from the bar of stock. The cutoff slide is a cross slide with one purpose, to cut off the finished part. It is set by moving the machine to just past the approach of the lead cam of the cross slides. Set the cutoff blade to touch the outside edge of the stock. Lock down the blade in the tool holder. The cutoff blade must now be centered. To do this, loosen these bolts. Unlock the nut on the adjusting screw. Adjusting this screw causes the tool holder to pivot on this bolt. Center the blade to the stock by sight. Lock the nut on the adjusting screw and check your setting by cutting off a piece during machining. When properly set, the blade should travel an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch past the point where the piece is cut off. There should be little or no burr or tip on the piece. Cut off blades, like other tools, must occasionally be sharpened. Before removing the blade, measure from the front of the tool holder to the tip of the blade. Use this measurement to reset the blade after sharpening. This screw holds the blade. A seven degree side break angle has been found to be best when cutting off a part that has a center hole. A 10 to 12 degree side break angle is generally used for cutting parts that do not have a center hole. This increased angle will help ensure a clean, smooth cut. This cutoff blade is ground with a 10 degree relief angle and a 14 degree side break angle. Some of the most common end tools for the New Britain automatic bar machine are drills. Drills come in many sizes. Notice also that there are many types of drills. Each kind of drill has a specific purpose. This is a standard twist drill. It is used in automatic bar machines to drill shallow holes. This is a chip breaker drill. It can easily be identified by this rib on the web. The purpose for using this drill is to cause the chips produced by drilling to be broken into small pieces to facilitate removal from the drilled hole. This is a tapered length fast spiral drill. Notice that this drill has more twists per inch than the standard twist drill. The purpose of this drill is to rapidly remove chips from the hole. It is used for high speed deep hole drilling. This is a tapered shank drill. The shank which fits into the drill sleeve is tapered. There are many different sizes of these drills with the same size shank. This allows the size of the drill to be changed without having to change the drill sleeve. This is a spot drill. The only difference between this drill and a twist drill is that the spot drill is used to start a hole to be drilled and usually has a sharper angle of cutting edge or drill point to prevent walking or run out. Drills like all other cutting tools get dull. As a good operator, you must continually check all of your drills to see that they are sharp and are cutting correctly. If not, you must change them. Sharpening a drill is not difficult, however. It does require practice. The cutting edge of the drill is placed against the grinder. The drill is then rotated as the shank is moved. 
The same procedure is used for both cutting edges of the drill. There are several checks you make to be sure that the drill is properly sharpened. The angle of the cutting edge is one check. Measure it with a drill gauge. This drill has a 59 degree angle. The length of the cutting edges must be the same. A must equal B. If they are not the same length, the drill will quickly dull and the hole will be oversized. The metal can be removed from behind the cutting edge to establish lip clearance. This keeps the drill from pushing the metal rather than cutting it. Too much lip clearance will cause a drill to dull quickly and break away at the corners. This drill has a lip clearance of 12 degrees which is common. Even a correctly sized and properly sharpened drill can make an oversized hole. This same drill may also be running out. A common cause for this problem is a bent drill shaft or shank. You can check for a bent drill by rolling a drill on a flat surface. When a drill is removed from the machine, the drill collet and holder should be wiped clean. The drill must be replaced in its same position to maintain the proper depth of the hole. Drill setting gauges set for each drill during the setup procedure make returning the drill to the same position quick and easy. Be sure to use the correct gauge and to measure from the end of the drill to the front of the tool slide. As a good operator of the New Britain automatic bar machine, you must be able to identify, to discover the causes for, and to correct the problems related to chatter. This tape will give you the information you will need to perform these tasks for the most common chatter problems. The sound that you have been hearing is chatter. You must learn to recognize this sound as an indicator of trouble. Notice the difference between the machine surfaces on these two parts. The surface of the part on the left is smooth, while the surface on the right part is uneven and rough. Chatter causes the uneven rough surface. Vibration is the primary cause of chatter. When vibration occurs, the cutting tool is not able to maintain a constant and even pressure on the stock. This results in a rough or uneven surface on the finished parts. Knowing that vibration is the primary cause of chatter does not solve the problem. As a good operator, you must determine what causes this vibration. In this case, the cross-slide tool holder bolts needed to be tightened. Once they were tightened, the chatter disappeared. The remainder of this tape will show you the primary cause for chatter. The most common chatter problem is caused by the forming tools being positioned above or below the center line of the part. When a form tool is properly positioned, the cutting edge will be two and three-quarter inches above the top of the cross slide. When a tool becomes dull, it will drag or bounce on the stock rather than make a smooth cut. This usually happens with the forming tools, although dull tool bits and other types of inside diameter tools can cause problems. The other way to detect a dull tool is to feel the edge for sharpness. A dull tool can overheat and burn the cutting edge. These are burn marks on a dovetail form tool. Notice the discoloration of the metal. The only solution to this problem is to remove the dull tool and have it sharpened. A properly sharpened form tool has not only a sharp edge, but also the proper rake angle and relief angle. Notice the angle shown in these drawings.
The cutoff blade, besides having a rake angle and a relief angle, also has a side rake angle. This prevents the blade from pushing the part off before it is cut off. A tool that has just been sharpened can also cause chatter. For this reason, many operators will lightly hone the newly sharpened tool to remove this wire or sharp edge. Care must be taken when inserting tools into their holders. Chips, dirt, and sludge must be removed before a snug fit can be obtained. The chips, dirt, and sludge will also prevent a solid mounting between the tool holder and the cross slide tool or tool slide. These setup errors can result in chatter. Your first check after the tool holder and cutting tool has been mounted is to ensure that all of the required hold down bolts are used and properly tightened. Any looseness or play will result in chatter. Chatter may be caused by problems that are not in the machining area. A loose stock reel tube is one example. Stock that does not rotate evenly, machine parts that work loose, and the machine not being properly leveled are all possible causes of chatter. In an earlier lesson, you were taught that many problems can develop from dirty collets. Chatter is one of these problems. If the collet does not hold the stock securely, vibrations can develop. These vibrations in the stock will cause chatter. Be sure to check to see the collet is clean and is gripping the stock properly. This completes your training tape on chatter, drills, and the cutoff blade. When you have finished watching this tape, return to the operator booklet for your next step.